Welcome to Chapter 7, Typography uh, Design, Typographic Design. And I've given you the uh, typography uh, basics in the other presentations. And basically, you have a mini illustrator inside of Photoshop. And there is certain power, like I showed you last week with the uh, Grateful Dead poster. And we'll do that again really quickly with the digital um, CPU motherboard inside the font. Um, the idea being you can, you can control uh, vector art which is either drawing with the pen tool or typography would be vector in a raster environment, which is the pixel based Photoshop. Um, so let's just start really quickly in our start file. Here's what it's going to end up looking like when you follow their instructions. We've got vertical. We've got type on a line on a shape got uh, paragraphs here, the headline subheads, and we've got the masked image inside of a font. So if you go to this little sticky note, it's command C copy, go back to your type, type tool, draw a box approximately where you want it, paste, it defaults to the last thing you had. So if you're not showing these uh, menus, go in and get character. Character style is style sheets, just like they have in Illustrator or Photoshop. I mean, um, in design, paragraph and paragraph styles. So you see this carriage return or the letter. Going to bring these down and it's not affecting anything that's not selected, right? So we want to get everything sort of up in here and on that box. And make this a little smaller. We want to go in and get those carriage returns and convert them to space after so that we have more control over and we still need to make all this smaller so we can really see everything. I'm going to get in there and get rid of those returns. Maybe 40. Make these smaller. And you'll see 29, all of this letting needs to be, oh, that's why I see now we have space after on all of them. So there's a thing that's soft return and hard return. And it's reading, you need to put space after on the last line to jump these areas because it's reading all of the hard returns. So there we go from there and then I'm controlling that area. If we go into here, for some reason it's just auto populating that. We want that to be zero. And we go deal with that letting our color zero 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 so we can actually see that and we can go in and adjust these different areas if you're selecting just one what's selected is affected and you'll notice what layer i'm on and when i click off it turns from layer one and it populates this area with what copies there. So if you wanted to make a new we want this to be its own group. 
new group from layers and we could say volume nine so we could use this as a template every single month um, and we can make this you know q1 in the year whatever area then we're going to write digital this I have to hop between the move tool and the type tool make this much larger and that's because it's only the one thing in the box that it worked without selecting that I'm going to take my CPU board duplicate layer CPU into destination which is start we're going to take this move the image above it we're going to hover over until we get on this line we click this now it was a little bit low oops got that on the wrong guy there we go hover over and you can oops make sure you're on the right layer see I'm do as I say not as I do I'm showing you the wrong way but sometimes that's helpful as well you can adjust the size um, you could put an effect on this layer just go down to the FX inner glow inner shadow Um, and that can affect that you could go in and you could affect your image um, that's not gonna help you go in and change that up so you can control this both this and this not sure if I went over that in the other video um, working on a vertical is exactly as it sounds the vertical type tool just give it a different baseline and I think that pretty much covers it um, follow their instructions step by step it's great training wheels but again you can get creative put things on different layers and just all around um, practice and get comfortable in the software